Hey guys, welcome to the last video in the series. So in this one, we're going to be setting up Google Analytics with our Next.js application. So before we continue, I want to mention that I will be working on a full stack course that will be using Django and Next.js. So it's going to be an Instagram clone, meaning that we're going to be building everything you see in Instagram to the best of our knowledge using Django on the back end and Next.js on the front end. So if you guys would want to build that application with me, Use the link below to sign up for updates on when that course will be available. Alright, so with that out of the way, let's go ahead and set up our Google Analytics. So let's create an account so we can get a tracking ID. Let's call this a tracking account. The name don't really matter. So we want to scroll down, click next. So for the properties, we want to give it a name. So I'm going to call this CM property. Then they're going to ask for business information. So what do we want to do? So here we need to accept the agreement. Let's accept. We already have enough emails, so we'll just not check any. And uh, right here, we want to add a data stream. So a data stream represents where you expect your users to be coming from. So ours are going to be on a web app. So for the website, we want to use our Heroku app. So I think we call it like CM Next. This is it. I'm going to copy this and uh, wanna go to analytics repress here the protocol is already prepended so we want to keep just the domain and uh, we need to give it a name so in our case we can call this cm website so once that's done then we're gonna have the measurement id so this is what we care about so we're gonna click this and these instructions here don't worry about them so what we want to do is we want to go to our Next.js app and add this to our environment. So here we want to say next public underscore GA ID, GA measurement ID. So once we have this, then we are going to be using the, we are going to be using most of the code in the, in the with Google Analytics example. We want to go to our custom document. And we want to add this code here. So we're actually going to be copying every piece of code we have in this example. We can paste this one there. So we need to bring in the tracking ID. We're just going to be bringing, in from, bringing it in from the environment. So one other thing we're going to need to do is configure DTAG utility. That's going to be responsible to set up a way to log an event. So a, an event is basically a custom action that the user performs that you would want to track maybe how many times the user clicked the login button. Oh, and also the page view so we're gonna get this so new folder let's call it lib so inside there let's create a gtag.js so we'll put in this code here and instead of using the environment from the component we are just going to to export it inside the util file inside the lib file and use it everywhere so let's make sure here we are exporting it as next public ga measurement id so now here we can use GA tracking ID and that should add the import. That's what is being used here and our import has been added good. So next thing we're going to need to do is in the app.js file, we need to basically tell, we need to log events on route change. So if a user goes on the home screen, we should be able to tell that they visited the home page 10 times, they visited the detail page seven times. That's kind of thing. So we're going to put some events on the router and we will do that inside app.js. So here before the return, we can have this code here. We need to import router. We need to import use router. So let's add that import. Let's also add this import for gtag because we are going to need it to, to basically count a page view. So here we can add this import. I'm actually going to import it, import gtag from that. Should be the same, should be okay. One other thing is if we want to log custom events, like when a user clicked a button, we can use the, so you see the util we set up here for, for, for the event. So we can use this here to be able to log an event. So what we'll do is we have an example here in the code. So if you go to the contact JS file, we have this example here where we can log a custom event and maybe the data that the user entered. So here we're going to copy this very same thing. And uh, 
then we wanna go to where we get the successful submission and we need to log an event. So here we'll have this here. So we'll have GTAG event, submit form, category, contact, and then and then for the label we can log the email that was actually submitted. So we can get the email obviously from the email in our state and that should be good. What I wanna do here is actually keep the imports import star as all right and then this is what we're gonna have here so in, so right here then we want to import it similarly all right okay so now that we have this then we can go ahead and uh, then we can go ahead and push this code to heroku and also update our environment in heroku to recognize this to recognize this uh, environment file. So I'm gonna copy our environment variable and go to Heroku. I'm actually gonna save here too. And go to Heroku right here, so heroku.com. So we wanna click on the next JS app, then we need to add the environment variable. So go to settings, let's click on reveal. So right here, we wanna put our, wanna put Next.js public measurement ID for Next.js GA public measurement ID. Then the value is gonna be, so make sure you use yours and uh, I'm going to save. Inside app.js, we need to import use effect. Okay. And now let's push again. Okay, so now the deployment is done. We have a deployed here. So I'm gonna go to the site now. So, so now we can go to the site by clicking open up. And if you're not using Heroku, obviously you just go to your site. But for us, you just click open a site and uh, you can see here, this has opened. So I can go navigate on the site as normal. And now if you go to analytics, so you can click on reports so I can click on reports and I'm going to actually minimize this a bit. So when you go to reports and click on report snapshots, you can see that we have a user active. And right now I'm in Uganda and all these details here will, will update as we have more users visit our website. So if I click on real time, we can see we have a user, I mean Kampala, if you guys didn't know. And then here we can see that someone visited the, visited the homepage and then went to the detail. We can see I'm on desktop. Okay, so I'm gonna be pausing the video here, guys. If there's something you want to know about Google Analytics, just Google it. I'm sure you're gonna get an answer. Or just ask in the comments if I know if I know about your question, then maybe I can answer it. So thanks guys for watching. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next series. So talk then, make sure you subscribe. Have a great one.